Hey, how's it going out there, everybody? Doing a little project on the Y2K Stang uh, Grill Delete. So, it was missing when I bought the car. And this is kind of a project car, so if you want to go back to the beginning, I'm doing a series of videos on this. Go back to my first video and follow the build or repair, if you will. So, yeah, got this grill out, and what I did, it's painted up right now, but what I did is I cut some expanded metal to fit the back. You just cut it out and bend it over to kind of cup the openings there. And paint it up black. Oops. Then I uh, glued it on with this Gorilla Glue. And it holds pretty good so far. It says it bonds metal glass, fabric, wood, ceramic, leather, paper, plastic, and more. And more. And more. <laughs> So what I'm going to do next, before I mount that in there, is I bought, uh, I call it a mechanical pony, but I've heard it called armor pony. Mustang here. Bought it from, off of eBay. So, show you guys that in case you guys want to order it. And if I remember, I'll try to put a, link in the description below and show where I bought it for like eight dollars and 95 cents and I think it was free shipping I'm not sure but it was it was like under 10 bucks took a couple of weeks to get here and I'm in the central US so Midwest so I'm going to get that uh, pony mounted. I'm going to drill a hole, find out where I want it, drill a hole to mount it. Comes with that bracket there. A little piece of all thread. Make a floating pony. So I'll get back to you when I get something new to show you. Okay, back. I got the hole drilled. I drilled a 3 16 hole, so a stud fits through there just, just with a little bit of play. So where I located that hole, it's uh, this piece is 2 inches wide. Get you back in the frame there. Get the reflection off of there. But there we go. 2 inches wide, so 1 inch to the center. And then I come down 13 sixteenths to the hole. And don't go any more than that if you're doing this. Because if you look back here where that hole goes through, there's this square hole that your stud has to stick through for the pony, for the mount. So that 13 16 puts you right to the bottom of that. So maybe go three quarters. It depends on the dimensions of your your pony, I guess, your Mustang. So I test fit it already. Got the stud put in it. Got the nut. That's where it needs to go. And this little backing plate is not going to work. So... In place of that, I'm going to use these two flat washers that I have to mount to that plastic right there. Because that bracket, it's too, too long for where I located the pony, where I wanted it, and the grill. So, yeah, this bracket, it's just a touch too wide. I mean, it would work. You could narrow it up where it's flared out right there. But it, it sticks up too high. If 
if I was to mount it there, it sticks up too high right here where my finger is. I'd have to cut that off, but it still won't fit because of the thickness. It, it'll hit the that plastic part I showed you back in there. Right back up in here, it'll hit this, this piece right here. So, that's the way I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use a little bit of silicone to act as Loctite, but it won't be Loctite, and I'll be able to take it apart, but yeah, it'll be strong enough to keep things from loosening off and backing off. Okay, I'm going to get that done and pause back in when I have something new to show you. Okay, got it all in. See what it looks like there. turned out pretty good I have to get it out in the sunlight or something to see the grill in there the expanded metal let me put some light on it from here maybe you can see a little bit of it but I'm happy with it a little shot of my 69 Mach 1. Been sitting there for 30 some odd years. Is, see if I can kind of off subject. Uh, last time this car was registered was 1986. That's when I built my house and I drove it from the apartment I lived in and parked it right there. I did start it every month or two or then it turned into every other year and then it turned into 30 years. <laughs> anyway, that's going to happen. 428 Cobra Jet Mach 1. Off subject anyway. Stay tuned for videos on that, I guess. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up, share. I could really use the subscriptions with the YouTube monetiz monetization policy change. Kind of got the bucket kicked out from under me like a lot of other YouTube creators. So, yeah, I've got the 2015 EcoBoost video, so go to my channel and check it out. i got different playlists on different things, and if you like something there, subscribe and keep checking back. Checking back. All right, you guys have a good one. Thanks again.